fetal alcohol syndrome on the rise? You know, this, this I found a little shocking. Um, they did a major study, and they found that if you include what we call partial cases, meaning where you may not have the full syndrome, that they're anywhere from 25 to 5% of births now, kids are being born with what's called fetal alcohol syndrome. And so they, along this research, they also wanted to ascertain why this would be, and they found that mothers you know, they're being told not to take pills or medications during pregnancy. But doctors apparently are not communicating it or communicating it effectively. A lot of women claim that they are not aware that drinking is so detrimental to, to being pregnant and to having a child. So we need to do a lot of mass education there. And um, we know fetal alcohol syndrome, is it's getting easier and easier to detect. They have the tests they're doing now, they're developing where they can detect it chromosomally. But with, what it does is it affects the child's learning, their memory, their cognition. Uh, really, in fact, what, what I'm gathering from the research is that actually alcohol, fetal alcohol syndrome, that drug is more hurtful to a child's development than any other drug. The phone adoptions, many of them, you don't know too much about the parent right. involved in having a child, many of them are doing drugs and the adjunct, is that correct? Yes, well we know in Eastern Europe there's very high rates of alcoholism and we know a lot of our adoptions are coming from those countries.